yes, another black seed oil video. I know you guys are tired of them, but I don't care, okay? If you ever see Thrifting Thick Chick, black seed oil, just bypass that video, okay? And come back the next day and possibly I have up a different type of video, whatever. But I am down my Madre's house. This video is gonna be 100% unedited because whenever I get an idea in my head or something, I wanna go ahead and talk about it right then or anytime anything happens, I wanna go ahead and talk about it right then because I'm, I am the type of person that if I forget about something, it's gonna be hard for me to remember it when I get home or whatever. So I just like to go ahead and talk about it right now. Well, the Juice Man um, has been having a toothache for what, two days now? Yep. Two days now and I did a little bit of research because you guys know that I know all about all of the benefits of black seed oil, et cetera, et cetera. So I decided to do a little bit of research because I heard somebody mentioning that you can actually take the black seed oil for toothaches. So I did a little bit of research and to my surprise, the black seed oil actually helps with toothaches. So I got some black seed oil. Like I told y'all, I'm down at my mama's house and girl, I keep bottles everywhere. Y'all know I got like six or seven of them bottles at the crib. It's two of them down here. So I got some black seed oil. You put it on the tip of your finger and you actually rub it around like the gum area of where the the aching tooth is. Does your tooth hurt now? No, it doesn't. Hmm. It's magic. It's magic. So look, what I'm going to be doing in today's video, I'm just going to be breaking down the all of the benefits of the black seed oil, okay? Now, I know everybody's not going to really want to sit back and just watch this video, but I'm going to break down all of the benefits of the black seed oil. And I'm going to sit, I'm going to try to make it entertaining for you guys because that's what I like to do. But I just, like I said, I'm not going to stop talking about the black seed oil. So if you ever see a black seed oil video from me and you don't want to see it, just try to bypass the video, okay? That's it and that's all. But if you have a toothache, get you some black seed oil and rub it around that tooth. Toothache going to be gone, okay? And like I said, I do have my notes here. Now, what are black seeds? There are a lot of people that ask that question as well. Like I said, I've done some research. Black seeds are tiny black Thick-shaped cumin seeds, okay? I'm pretty sure most of you guys have heard of cumin. It's like tiny, thick-shaped cumin seeds. Now, um, you can use the black seeds. You don't have to actually use it in the oil form. You can actually use this pure black seeds. A lot of people use them like when they're baking bread and things. They'll bake the black seeds inside of the bread. Or they'll use it on the top of the bread. You know how a lot of times people put poppy seeds on the top of their bread? A lot of people will put black seed oil, not black seed oil, black seeds on the top of their bread, okay? Now, what is black seed oil made from? Now, there's this plant called nigella. N-I-G-E-L-L-A. It's called a, it's a nigella plant, a stativa plant. Um, and basically, it's like these seeds that they, black little seeds that I described to you guys earlier, and they get those seeds and they compress them with a hydraulic press and it presses out this quote unquote black seed oil, all right? Now, this, there are a lot of different ways that you can use it. Like I said, you can, most people take one teaspoon, I take a tablespoon, okay? Like I said, I know most people take one teaspoon, I take one tablespoon in the morning and one tablespoon at night, but it's recommended that you only take a teaspoon, okay? Now, you can also mix it with honey. There are a lot of people who can't really stomach the black seed oil because it does have like a motor oil type of feel. Like I said, I've never drink, drank motor oil, so I can't really attest that this is what motor oil tastes like. But if I had to imagine what motor oil tastes like, I would imagine it tasting something like this. But you can mix it with honey or orange juice. There are some people who actually take the black seed oil and then they drink a little bit of orange juice behind it, okay? Now, you can take it plain. Like I said, just take the, you know black seed oil um you can boil it with water like tea now i think that might be a little bit worse <laughs> than the actual black seed oil but that's just me but if you can actually get your hand on this the pure black seeds you can actually boil it like tea and drink it that way okay and you can also people add it to their food like i said you can add it to your bread you can add it to your um desserts and different things like that now the two most potent the two most potent um ingredients or chemicals that are in black seed oil are already found in the nigella plant are thymoquinone and thymohydroquinone those are two of the um ingredients that are in well i want to say two of the chemicals that are naturally in this nigella plant those are the two things that really activate this black seed oil and gives it all of its amazingly amazing benefits all right now we all know who King Tut is. Y'all know who King Tut is, all right? Um, when King Tut died, they actually, in King Tut's tomb was actually a bottle of black seed oil. Does that not speak volumes? Does that not speak volumes that black seed, a, a bottle of black seed oil, of course not, 
you know, you're not going to find any one of these brand brand named bottles of black seed oil in his tomb. But he had a bottle of black seed oil. I don't know what type of bottle of black seed oil that was in his tomb. You can do the research and you can find that for yourself. Now I'm going to tell you guys about some of the benefits of the black seed oil. First and foremost, it helps your heart. It helps heart health. It has omega-6 and omega-9 in it. It also helps with fungal infections. Research showed that it helps promote antifungal and antibacterial properties. Not only that, allergies, most people now, you know, by it being spring with all this pollen going on, it helps with sinus infections. They say you can actually get this stuff and just rub it on your sinus, rub it on your nasal cavity, and it'll help people who have um, sinus infections. So keep that in mind as well. So if you have a person who has really bad allergies, get them some black seed oil. All right. Um, skin. A lot of people use it for daily moisturizer, sunburn, wrinkles. And as I also told you guys, it helps with dark spots. I gave you guys a little bit of a concoction, something that I had mixed up with the toothpaste, the black seed oil, and all this good jazz. It helps with dark spots, so the stuff is good on skin. A lot of people say they actually just use it as a moisturizer. Now, it doesn't smell the best, so it might have a little bit of a weird smell to it if you're just moisturizing your face with it if you have somewhere to go. But some people use it as a just a basic face moisturizer to help skin cancer. I told you guys about that as well. It has so many amazing cancer. Uh, it kills cancer cells, so it helps with skin cancer. Acne, again, as far as the skin is concerned, just rubbing it on your face because we know a lot of times acne is caused by inflammation. So putting it on your acne spots or your acne pimples and different things like that, it will dry them up. It helps with infections. A lot of people say that they actually like the black seed oil um, as opposed to a lot of these different antibiotics. They said whenever they have an infection, they take the black seed oil and they're good to go. Uh, fertility. I gave you guys a um, testimony about the uh, the young lady who actually got pregnant after her and her husband had been trying to get pregnant for the last, what, two years, she said. And now they're all of a sudden pregnant. Like I said, I know a lot of people say that that could have been a fluke. It just seems very pecu peculiar to me that they have been trying for two years, going to fertility, to doc fertility uh, doctors, getting fertility treatments. None of that stuff worked. And she started taking the black seed oil and all of a sudden she's pregnant. I don't think that's a fluke, but that's just me. So it helps with fertility. Now, it's really good for male infertility. A lot of men who don't produce a lot of sperm, TMI, I know. But it um, it helps, you know, produce, it helps men produce sperms and it, sperm and it also helps with sexual hormones so it helps fertility so if you have any type of P if you have PCOS if you have hard time getting pregnant try just try the black seed oil what do you have to lose also um it also helps grow your hair it helps with thinning hair dry hair because it has omega-3 6 and 9 in it which helps the hair follicles um and it helps to strengthen your hair so a lot of people use it in their hair as moisturizer in their hair so keep that in mind as well it helps with flu and fever now we know most of the time, you know, this ain't really flu and fever season or flu season. I should say flu season because people get fevers all of the time. But if you have somebody who has a fleet fever or a flu, all you do is you get you mix in a cup of warm water, the black sea oil and some honey. Just make sure you put it in warm water and have the person drink it and it'll help them with the flu. Um, also boils and uh, carbuncles. Okay. I was like, what is a carbuncle? I didn't even know what that was, but all carbuncles is, is, is actually, actually a cluster of the boils. Okay. So I, I've had a boil before. I, I think probably most people have probably had a boil in their life. I actually had a boil as a little girl underneath my arm and my dad put something on it called tar. It literally looked like tar. And all that does is it dries the, the boil up and it helps it to burst, all right? But black seed oil does the same exact thing. You can actually just apply the black seed oil to the boil and it'll actually dry it up. So it helps with boils as well. Cough and asthma. It also helps with diarrhea. That's now it, another thing, okay? I don't think it mentioned this as the one, part of the 101 things that it helps with, but um, it actually helps keep you regular as well. But if you have diarrhea, you mix one teaspoon of this stuff in yogurt. Okay. And do this for two days and your diarrhea is going to be completely gone. All right. Again, if you have diarrhea, mix one teaspoon of this stuff 
and some yogurt and do that for two days and your diarrhea should be gone. I told you guys about the high blood pressure. My mother takes it and her blood pressure is under control. She doesn't have to take her blood pressure medication anymore. It helps with insomnia. Now, when I was going through what I was going through when I was taking that prednisone and it, I hadn't slept for days, I started taking the black seed oil. Now, the first time I, I took it, it helped me sleep. I hadn't slept for days. I did not sleep like a baby the first time taking it, but I was able to get like two or three hours of sleep and I wasn't able to get any sleep before that. And now it's just like, it puts you in a naturally deep sleep and you wake up and you do not be tired. At least I don't. Okay. And it also, um, is said to have helped a lot of people who, um, dealt with insomnia and who weren't able to sleep at all. It helps them to actually get a good night's rest. So if you, you're a person who deals with insomnia, try using some black seed oil. Um, muscle cramps and spasms, um, nausea and upset stomachs. It also upset the stomach. It also helps with that. Toothaches. I just told you guys about the toothache. Toothaches. I'm a witness to that myself. Uh, leukemia cells. Now, the thymocinone is said to be one of the um, in the chemicals that actually helps people who have uh, leukemia. So, if you are a person who suffers from leukemia, you know, just do some research on the black sea oil and see if it might be something that is able to help you. Um, also, breast cancer. Again, again, black sea oil. Black sea oil research has been said to help kill cancer cells colon cancer psoriasis so if you know anybody who's suffering from psoriasis get them to try some black seed oil eczema again back to the skin situation weight loss now a lot of people ask me about this does it help you lose weight i not like i said i, I haven't done any experiments with that but it is also said to actually speed up your metabolism by lowering your appetite. So it kind of works kind of kind of like um, apple cider vinegar, I guess. So it actually is said to help with weight loss. But I haven't done any experiments on it, so I don't know. You know, I can't give you a testimony on the weight loss part. But people are saying that it does help with weight loss. Now, diabetes, it does help lower your, um, lower your A1C. Seizures and epilepsy. Now, the ingredients in the black sea are oil are said to be an anti-convulsant. So if you know anybody who suffers from epilepsy or who has really bad seizures, maybe do some research on the black sea oil and see if that's something that could possibly help them out. Also, tonsil inflammation is really good for inflammation, period. So if you're a person who suffers from any type of inflammation, I don't care what type of inflammation that it is, try some black sea oil. Like I told you guys, the testimony from the young lady in my live stream, she said that she was having problems with her knee. She actually just got the oil and rubbed it on her knee, okay? Just simply rubbed it on her knee and her um, knee pain is gone. She was suffering from that knee pain for months and the black sea oil helped her not internally. It helped her externally by rubbing it on her knee. So that's a great thing. Um, methicillin, okay? And it put a whole lot of stuff in parentheses. Basically, staph infections. So if you're, you know somebody who's suffering from a staph infection, it is said to help with the staph infections. Opiate addiction. Now, it doesn't help a person, you know, stop wanting to take opiates but if a person is deciding that they want to um stop you know abusing opiates this black sea oil is said to help reduce their withdrawal symptoms okay it's not going to help them stop want stop you know uh want to stop taking the pills but if a person is wanting to change their lives and they want to just you know stop abusing opiates they can try the black sea oil and it will help them with their withdrawal symptoms and it'll help them not have so horrible of withdrawals from the opiates. It helps with scars that's going back to the skin, okay? Cervical cancer, again, it helps with kill can cancer cells. Radiation damage. There are a lot of people who actually, you know, are previous, um, who are, uh, uh, who are previous, you know, who had cancer previously is in remission now and they went through radiation and chemo. So it also said, it's said to help with radiation damage for those of you that have had any radiation treatments. Lead poisoning it also helps with that. Beard. So ladies out there, if you know a man who has a beard or he's trying to grow his beard, get him some black seed oil. They said that you get the black seed oil and you just simply rub it on your beard and use it as a moisturizer. It's said to help grow your beard and give it this nice sheen. I'm just telling you guys from the research that people have done, okay? Being washed stains. So, especially by it being the summertime, we all know that a lot of people are going to be being outside with their family, barbecuing, and, you know, kids are going to be out in the pool and different stuff like that. So, it's going to be a lot of bees and wasps, okay? So, it said that it's, it helps with bee and wasp stains. So, what you do is you mix the black sea oil with water. And you rub it on whatever the, the part of the body, whether bee or the wasp stung, you do that twice a day and it's said to help with the bee and wasp stings and it helps it not to be so painful. Chest congestion. Now you simply, when you got chest congestion, it's amazing that you're able to simply just rub this stuff on yourself and it'll help. So it's said to just get the black sea oil and rub it on your chest and it's going to clear up 
the buildup and the congestion by simply rubbing it on your chest. Ain't that amazing? It also help with, helps with ear aches. It says the black seed oil mixed with olive oil, a half a teaspoon each, that are warmed and dripped into the ear, okay, is a natural way of getting uh, rid of the ear pain quick. So <laughs> I've had an ear, ear, earache before. I've never used the black seed oil, but now I know that this is something that I can use if I ever get another earache. It helps with eye and vision, facial paralysis, nasal nasal congestion family i'm talking about the benefits of this stuff is amazing gallstones gall freaking stones it says taking black seed oil for gallstones is said said to be a sure way to reduce pain and remove the gallstones altogether what liver stones gas and flatulence so if you know somebody out there girl who got a whole lot of gas build up get them some black seed oil helps with hemorrhoids hemorrhoids, headaches, and migraines, immunity, breastfeeding, and lactation. So if you're a person who is that not only does black seed oil help you breastfeed by improving lactation, it can also be used for nipple skin protection when applied prior to breastfeeding. What? Dementia, okay? Moles, one of the less known skin benefits of black seed oil, they can help in the removal of moles by repressing their development and clearing up your skin. What? Insect bites. Peeling lips. So if you have really dry lips, it helps with your lips. Constipation. Again, like I said, the black seed oil, I know for me, it helps keep you regular. Back and muscle pain. Rheuma, rheum, rheum, blah, blah, blah. Rheumatic pains. Stomach pain. It's just way too many for me to even go through, family. Dry mouth. Bladder infections. Nosebleeds. I'm talking about the list goes on and on. Burns. Dandruff. Joint pain. Uh, damage associated with diabetes, menstrual cycles, and periods. It's Now, one of the young ladies in the weight loss group, if you're not a member of the weight loss group, go over and join it right now, right now. I mean, right now, right now. It's 100% free, okay, especially if you're, if you're on a weight loss journey. But there was a young lady in there who said that she noticed that it did help with the, um, the cramps during her menstrual cycle. So it helps with men menstrual cycles and periods. Um, it says black seed oil for, for pregnancy. I talked about that already. Uh, arthritis ulcers, just basic pain, brain cancer cells, anxiety, depression, dizziness. I'm talking about it goes on and on. It helps with heartburn, stress, Alzheimer's, meningitis, kidneys, uh, the sperm count. I talked to you guys about that before when, with the, the pre whole pregnancy thing, bone marrow, HIV. Now, it doesn't say that it cures HIV or anything like that. It says it's a natural alternative has been offered, has offered relief to many suffering from the horrible, horrible symptoms of HIV. Um, colic for babies, bronchitis, prostate, general weakness, lethargy, um, chronic fatigue, urine production, heart attacks, uh, morphine dependence, anemia, Parkinson's, parasites, obesity, oral cancer cells. I'm talking about family. The list goes on and on. Liver cancer, uh, liver, pancre um, pancreatic cancer, lymphoma, detoxifies your body, bone cancer, um, deep cleans your pores, and schizophrenia. So it, family, okay? This, if you ain't sold on this stuff, like I said, I ain't trying to sell you. All I'm trying to do is just tell you about the amazing benefits of this black sea oil. I really wish that I was affiliated with these folks, okay? Because maybe I'll be rich by now. Because like I said, I, be, I don't care. I can go in the grocery store. People ask me anytime. Girl, I tell everybody about this black sea oil. Like I told y'all, my mother has everybody at her freaking job asking her about the black sea oil. She calls me all the time. Well, you said that they can go and look up the reviews for that black sea oil. Girl, okay? Girl, it is not a gang with this stuff. This stuff is the tree of your holy field, okay? I, as long as I live, as long as they make this stuff, I will be taking it. A young lady in the weight loss group told me that the factory for black seed oil is actually in Georgia. Now, I'm pretty sure that they probably just cold press the stuff and ship it out or whatever. They probably don't actually sell it there, but I'm going to have to find out. I'm going to actually call the factory in Georgia. I'm going to see if they will actually allow me to purchase cases of the stuff. Now, it does have expiration dates. I think one of the, most of the bottles that I have, they like expire in like 2019. But if you're actually taking it, you know, twice a day, it's not hard to go. I can go through two bottles in a month, okay? But like I said, I can buy like a case of the stuff and it'll last me until next year. You know what I'm saying? Instead of actually um, just keep buying different, you know, keep buying bottles from Amazon. But the stuff is so popular and it's, it's, it has so, ama so many amazing benefits and people are ranting and raving about it so much that they're actually going up 
on the price of the freaking black seed oil. When I first started ordering this stuff, it was $14.99, okay? When I first started ordering it, it was $14.99. Now it's like $19.99. That just goes to show you, like I said, not only is the demand high, the stuff is good, it works, okay? A lot of people who are actually on a lot of this poison that these doctors give us, these people have actually started taking the black seed oil and they don't take that poison no more, okay? And like I said, I'm not trying to tell anybody to stop taking the, you know, stop listening to the advice of their doctors. That's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is, do your own due diligence, okay? Because sometimes doctors will, you know, they'll just push medicine on you. All I am saying is do a little bit of research. Just take 15, 20 minutes of your day, you know, out of, out, out of your time and do some research. Google will, will be your best friend. There are so many amazingly amazing, okay? This stuff has cured some, a lot of people from a lot of these horrible diseases. If it has, if you feel like it hasn't cured them, my thing is this, they go back. Some people who are suffering from cancer, they go back after they've been taking this stuff for a while and the cancer cell, I mean, it's just, Ain't no sign of the cancer, okay? A lot of these people who are suffering from different type of diseases um, with a lot of chronic pain, they started taking the black seed oil and the pain is gone. All I'm saying is do some research on the stuff. I'm going to keep talking about it. So if you ever see a video that said Thrifting Thick Chicks, uh, a black seed oil, and you don't want to hear me talking about it, just skip the video. That's all I can tell you, y'all. But, yeah, it helped with my with, with my boo-boo toothache. And so I had to come make a video and tell y'all about all of the amazing benefits of the black seed oil. That's it, and that's all. That's all I have to say. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.